In this video, you'll learn how Nonprofit Success Pack, commonly known as NPSP, connects your data together to help you manage relationship information at your nonprofit. In Salesforce, the term objects are the database tables where you store your data. These are important because they form the core of NPSP. Regardless of whether you will be using NPSP for fundraising, program management, engagement, or all three, relationship management is the foundation. These important objects are contacts, accounts, affiliations, relationships, and sometimes leads. To begin, contacts are individual stakeholders in your organization. Examples include donors, members, clients, partners, and volunteers. In NPSP, there are two types of accounts, households and organizations. Household accounts track donors or members who live together. In NPSP, a household account is automatically created when you create a contact. Organization accounts are used for companies such as a corporate donor, vendor, and other business entities. Let's take a look at a contact record in Salesforce. In the global search bar, let's find James Navarro. James Navarro's account name is Navarro Household. James is the primary contact because he was the first contact created for the household. Next, let's take a look at relationships and affiliations. Relationship connects one contact to another contact. This could be any kind of personal connection, only relationship, personal relationship such as a friend, or a professional relationship such as a mentor or advisor. And relationships in NPSP are reciprocal so you can easily track relationships like mother-daughter or teacher-student. Beyond family relationships, you may want to use relationships to track a connection between a board member or a key donor. Contact might interact with multiple organizations in ways that are helpful to know about. That's where affiliations come in. An affiliation connects a contact to an organization account record. For example, an affiliation could include a college or school they attend, business where they work, if they volunteer at a nonprofit, or serve on the board of a foundation. While a contact can belong to only one household account, the contact may have lots of affiliated connections to many organizations. It's helpful to use the primary affiliation to track a contact's current employer. Let's see how relationships and affiliations appear in Salesforce. From James Navarro's contact record, Navigate and click the Relationship-Related list. James's spouse Alyssa Navarro is listed in the Relationship-Related list. Next, to view or edit James's affiliations, let's select the Organization Affiliations Related list. Pineville Pantry is listed as his primary affiliation, meaning that's where he currently works. His former employer, Grafton Grubspot, is listed for your reference. Now, if you work with the prospective stakeholders, you can consider using leads. Leads are people who may be interested in your organization, but don't have a deep or ongoing relationship yet. Not every organization needs to use leads. As your business needs change, leads can be enabled later. To learn more, check out our resource guide, Managing Contacts and hands-on workshop guide. Both of these links are located in the resource section below. Now you know how connections in NPSP relate to each other. Thanks for watching.